Good morning, Katie 2 and Grade 1. It's Thursday. Yahoo! Nearly the weekend, and we've got our live news. So I don't know why else we decide. We should be really, really happy. Show me smiles. Brilliant. Okay, so um, different kind of lesson today. Um, you've got Mrs. Garrett and Hattie for your warm up. Um, and then I'm going to pass you over to Mr. Williams, who's going to do the main part of the lesson, right? So we are looking at strength. We are looking at upper body. We are looking at these things here, our shoulders, our arms and our core, all of our tummy muscles. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And we're going to get those ready for Mr. Williams' lesson, okay? So all you need for my part is a bit of space. A big smile and lots of energy. So let's get warmed up. So find yourself some space. Okay, and we're going to start with a jog. Off we go. Nice and easy. Good. Light on those feet. Shake out your arms. You can come away from your desk. And you're thinking about nice things, lovely things, all the lovely things you've learned. And the fact that it's the weekend and you're going to be able to do all the things, that you, hopefully all the things that you enjoy doing with your families. Yeah? Okay, good. Now, let's bring those knees a little bit higher and let's use those arms a bit so we're getting our body nice and warm. You should start to feel a little bit out of breath. As we move a bit faster, our heart should start beating faster because it's sending the blood to our yes. to our muscles. Yeah. yeah, that's where the blood needs to go. Keep going. 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 Keep you ready? Yep. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. And three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Go a bit slower. Take your breath. Now we're going to go from ten down to one. Nice and fast. So are you ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. start to ache that's okay because your muscles are getting tired try and keep going keep going size of a tennis ball so we're now drawing the size of a tennis ball imagining that we've got a pencil at the end of our fingers and we're drawing an imaginary tennis ball have to stay with us your, your arms are going to feel tired they're going to feel sore but keep going I know the matter Okay, what about the size of a netball? Good. Now a rugby ball. Now football. Now marble. Now beach ball. Now ping pong ball. Now tennis ball. Now rugby ball. Now football. Beach ball. Beach ball. And hot air balloons. Big circles. All the way up and all the way down. Really. And shake your arms. Good. Well, my shoulders feel nice and warm now and my arms. Okay, so arm circles. Let's do a bit of swimming. So let's go to front roll. And back stroke. And butterfly, both arms together. In the white up past your ears and breaststroke. Good, I haven't forgotten how to swim. Backstroke 
and really fast back to it because you're in a race. And you want to be the first one there. Quick, quick, quick. And from Paul, quick, quick. There's a shot behind you. Quick, quick, quick. And press jump. Quick, we're swimming away from those grabs. Quick. And butterfly. Swimming like a mermaid. <laughs> well done, everybody. And swinging those arms. Good. Now bring our arms out and then cross them. And each time, so the arm should be at the top, so it's going to cross the body. Asking those muscles here in your chest to work. You feel them, push your arms right back before you cross them over. Very good. Okay, now arms at the top, hold them, and then swing them down and relax. Again, and let them go. Good, one more. Ready, hold them up nice and high, nice and tall, push them back a bit, and let them go. Good. Okay, let's do our second part of the warm up. So I'm going to bring you down onto the floor so you can see me and Hattie. Hello. Okay, so the next part of our warm up is looking at bunny hops. Yeah. And the V6. I'm going to demonstrate both of them and then I'm going to tell you our little game. Okay, so when we do bunny hops, we stay with our knees bent and our bottom down to start with. We put our hands down on the floor, keeping them shoulder distance, not too wide, not close together. And then we want to kick our legs up, looking down with our heads. So hips above your shoulders, go. Good. Nice little kick with neck, knees bent is fine. Um, and we want to make sure our body weight comes into our arms and our shoulders. Let me show you again. So hands down and up. Good. That is a bunny hop. Okay. So if Mrs. Garrett shout bunny hop, you need to do bunny hops as many as you can. Okay. Now, if Mrs. Garrett shouts V sit, I'm going to show you this way so you can see me. Bottom on the floor. Feet off the floor and arms off the floor. Okay. Now to make it harder, you need to try and straighten your legs and straighten your arms. So you're making the letter B. B. And as we push our shoulders back, we engage. We ask all of these tummy muscles to work for us, and that's that's what helps us get a really strong body. That's what we want. Okay, so this is an easy big hands in and knees bent. This is a bit harder. You decide what you want to do. Okay, so Mrs. Garrett is going to say one of three things jog, V sit, or bunny hop. And you keep doing those things until I say the next thing. So watch Hattie jog, bunny hop. And she keeps doing it until I say the next thing. Get those feet nice and high, hips above your shoulders. Good. It doesn't matter if your legs are straight or bent. Bunny hops, it doesn't matter. Jog. You get it? Right, I want everybody to join in. So everybody stand up and show me jog. Bunny hop. Jog. Bunny hop. Jog. V sit. Oh, good. V sit, Hattie. Well done. Straight arms back at your hands above. That's it. Push your shoulders back. Jog. I like your V sit, guys. Brilliant. Well done. V sit. Good, Hattie. Get those tummy muscles working. You can feel them. They might start to shake. Bunny hop. Straight into bunny hops. Good. Knees bent, Hattie. Good. Get your hips up above your shoulders. Keep those tummy muscles nice and strong. Jog. Bunny hop. Jog. Bunny hop. Lisa. Bunny hop. Lisa. Bunny hop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Are you tired? Yeah. B-set. One. Hold the B-set. Hold the B-set. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Three, two, one. You are amazing. I hope you're feeling nice and warm and ready for the main part of the lesson. That was a brilliant one. Okay. So I'm going to say bye to you for now. I'm going to pass you over to Mr. Williams, who's sat waiting and ready. And I want to wish you a lovely weekend. And I hope that you enjoy your PE lesson. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Hi, KG2 Grade Ones. And thank you, Mrs. Garrett and Hattie. What a great warm up. OK, so we had lots of students joining us during the warm up, so I'm just going to explain quickly what we're doing today. So for the next three weeks on a Thursday, you will take part in a gymnastics lesson. OK, now Mrs. Gart has just done a really good warm up and now we're going to work on some handstands with Mr. Williams. OK, now before we get started today, we are not going to do a full handstand. OK. Today is all about preparation, getting our body ready and getting the feeling of what it would be like to maybe be upside down in a handstand position. Now, I know lots of KG2 students. I think Zinni, if you're with us today, I know Zinni can do a full handstand, but I know there's lots of students who are still developing and are on their journey to being able to do a handstand. So before we do anything today, we need to talk about safety. OK, so today you must use a soft surface. So behind me, as you can see, I've got a brown carpet, which I'll be using as my base. If you don't have a carpet, you can use a gym mat or you can maybe get two long towels and you can place them on top of each other. OK, in addition to that, you will need two pillows today. So I'm going to give you one minute now to go and get those items. Remember, if you don't have a gym mat or a carpet, you can use two towels on top of each other and that will give you a nice cushion for today's session. So off you go. Two towels, a gym mat, and you need two relatively small pillows. Off you go. If you've got those nearby, fantastic. Have a drink of water while we're waiting for everyone else while they're getting their equipment ready. And then I'll tell you exactly what we're going to be doing today. And I hope you've got your water bottles on hand. So I'm going to give you another 40 seconds. If you've just come back, have a drink of water while we wait in. Got lots of students with us this morning. So you're looking for a soft surface and everyone needs two pillows. OK, 20 seconds. Have you got your pillows ready? I've got mine. Do you have yours? 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. OK, so and before we go even further, everyone needs to make sure that they've got their shoes and socks off. I don't want to see anyone wearing socks today or wearing their shoes. OK, we're going barefoot. So if you've got your socks and shoes on right now, please take them off immediately. And we're just going to be uh, on using our bare feet. OK, so using your pillows, I want you to place your pillows down on the floor next to each other. But I want you to leave a little gap in the middle the size of your foot. OK, so if you can put your foot into the middle. If you can't, you need to make it a little bit bigger. So you've got two pillows next to each other with a little gap in the middle. OK, so like I said, we're going to look at the preparation stage of doing a handstand. So today my pillows, they're going to be hot lava. OK, do we want to stand on hot lava? I don't think so. We don't want to stand on hot lava. So we need to avoid stepping on the hot lava stones today. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the first stage of a handstand. So everyone stand up. 
by the side of your pillow. OK, facing both pillows. I want you to stretch up, put your hands in the air. OK, I just kneel down so you can see what my arms are looking like. So your arms need to be stretched up and stand up. Body nice and straight. Keep your arms stretched. Just change my camera angle so you can see me better. Can you see the? Yes, just about. So stretch up. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to step over the first stone. OK, so I've got one leg over the first hot lava stone. My arms are stretched up into the air. I'm just going to stay here. Does anyone know what this position is called? I think we've done it in um, some of the fitness classes we've done. OK. Come back and step over again. Does that remind you of a position that we've done in fitness? Well, if you guessed it right, it's called a lunge. So keep your arms stretched. And my leg is in a lunge position. So from here, we're going to lift our back leg off the ground. And at the same time, I'm going to lower my arms into this position. We're going to make a human seesaw. OK, so keep my foot in the middle. I'm going to lift my back leg off the ground. I'm going to push my arms forward to make a human seesaw. You're going to hold this position for about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Come back to the start. Good. Did you feel anything in your tummy? Did you feel like you were going to fall forward or sideways? That's because we need to have a strong tummy. We need to have a strong core. So when we're doing the human seesaw, you need to squeeze your tummy muscles in. OK, so let's give that one more go. Back to the start. Stand by the side of your pillow. Stretch your arms up into the air. Step over the first hot lava stone into your lunge. And then we're going to lift our back leg off the ground. Push your arms forward to make a human seesaw. Keeping your tummy muscles nice and tight. OK, push your arms forward. Try and get your back leg as straight as you can. Just hold that position. Three, two, one, back to the start. How did that feel for you guys? Were you able to keep your balance? OK, again, another tip for you. If you're finding that you're falling over, concentrate on one spot. So maybe look at an object in your view. So I can maybe look at the pillow or on the side or the ornament on the side that I have there. So fix, make your eyes look at one object and that will help you keep your balance. Let's try that one more time before we move on to step three. So stand behind your pillow, stretch your arms up. Step over the first hot lava stone into a lunge. And then we're going to bend at the hip, bring your back leg off the ground. Push your hands forward. Hold it there. Try and get your back leg as straight as you can. I'm sure lots of you can do it better than me. Try and keep your balance in three, two, one, and back to the start. Good. So that is our first two steps. We're going to move on to our third step, and we're going to work over the second hot lava stone now. And what we're going to do is very simple. When we're in our human seesaw, we're now going to put our hands down onto the floor. We're going to reach over the second stone and we're going to play the piano on the floor using our fingers like this. OK, so step one. We stand up behind the first hot lava stone. Step two, we step over and then we create a seesaw. Step three. We bring our hands down over the second one and we play the piano on the floor. Should we give that a go together? Let's go. So standing up. Next to your pillow, stretch your arms up into the air. Step over the first hot lava stone. Then we're going to make our human seesaw. Lift your back leg up, stretch your arms. 
And now you're going to bring your hands down to the ground and play the piano over the second hot lava stone. Can you hold that position? Use your hands for balance. Three, two, one, and back to the start. <clears throat> We're going to do that two more times together. If you want, you could use the other leg. So instead of stepping over with your right leg, you could maybe step over with your left leg. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that decision up to you. OK, I prefer to use my right leg, but you make that decision. Let's do that one more time. Hands in the air. Step over the first hot lava stone. Make a human seesaw. Bend over, lift your back leg up, push your arms out. And then bring your arms to the ground over the second hot lava stone and play the piano on the floor. Can you keep your balance? Hold it. Three, two, one, and back to the start. Good job. <coughs> Give your legs and arms a bit of a shake. <coughs> Have a drink if you need it. We're going to do that one more time before we move on to something, another challenge that I have for you guys. <clears throat> OK, again, we're not doing a full handstand today. We're just practicing what it would feel like to maybe do a handstand once we are more confident. OK, so let's do that one more time. Stand behind your pillow. Stretch your arms up into the air, nice and straight, like a pencil. Step over the first hot lava stone. Make a human seesaw. Make a human seesaw. And then bring your arms to the ground to play the piano. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Back to the start. Good job. OK, have a drink. Take your time. That is what it would feel like to do a handstand. That's the preparation stage. OK, there's lots more different steps, but we will look at that in the weeks to come. So what I want to do now is I want to develop some maybe some shoulder strength. OK, and we're going to do a little challenge together, which is called a frog stand. So I'm just going to bring my laptop down a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. So what you need to do now is you need to get a pillow, just one of your lava stones, one pillow, and I want you to place it in front of you on the floor. OK, now this is going to act as my cushion in case my body tips forward. My face or my, or my chest is going to hit the pillow, not a hard surface. So you must have a pillow to do this activity. OK, so we're going to look at a frog stand. And this is going to tell me, and it's going to tell you guys, if you can hold your body weight, if you've got the strength to be able to support your body weight. So what I'd like you to do is to place both hands on the floor by just behind the pillow. I want you to move your feet close to your hands like this. You see my feet are here, my hands are here. My arms are inside my legs like this. And this is my position. OK, and what we're going to do is we're just going to rock forward and rock back. Rock forward. And rock back. Can you do that? Let's try again. Rock forward. And rock back. Fantastic. Now, when you're rocking forward, can you feel your legs? Resting on the back of your arms. OK, so rock forward. Feel your legs resting against the back of your arms and rock back. So the idea of a frog stand is to be able to balance, lift my feet off the ground and use my hands to balance. OK, so let's try that one more time. Rock forward. And rock back when you feel comfortable in doing so. I want you to try and lift your legs off the ground. Now remember, you may end up falling forward here, but that's why we've got a pillow, a nice soft pillow to support us, OK? So I'm going to rock forward. My legs are going to rest against the back of my hand. I'm going to keep going forward 
until my legs come off the ground and I'm going to come back. I wonder how many of us can do this today. How many of us can do a frog stand? Okay, it's very difficult. It's not easy, okay, but it's good fun to practice. Arms on the floor. Lean forward. Keep going forward and try and lift your feet off the ground for a few seconds and come back. Maybe some of you can hold it for maybe five seconds. Maybe some of you can't do it at all and that's OK. That's completely fine. OK, and if you can't keep your legs off the ground, this is something that you need to practice. OK, and the more you practice, the better you will become. So it's very important that I keep my arms nice and straight. Lock my arms out. Okay, I've got my pillow. Arms straight. Put my inside of my leg against my arm. I'm going to rock my body forward onto, off my toes. And try and get your feet off the ground for a few seconds. And then come back. Okay. Now it's going to feel like, it should feel like you're going to tip forward. Now you need to use your hands, your fingertips, to stop you from tipping forward and falling onto the pillow in front of you. Okay, that's why it's very important to use our fingertips for balance. So just like we did a human seesaw earlier, standing up, we're now doing a very small seesaw when our body is nice and small and compact. Let's try that one more time. Hands on the floor. Arms nice and straight. Okay, lock your hands out inside of your leg against the back of your arm. I want you to rock forward and if you feel comfortable, lift your feet off the ground. And if I go too far forward, this is what happens. I go forward, I go too far and my head hits the pillow. Okay, it's nice and soft, it's nice and safe. I'm not going to do any damage to myself. Okay, so just spend about two minutes now practicing your frog stand. I'll do it with you. Arm straight. Rest the inside of my leg against my arm. I'm going to rock forward. And if I feel comfortable, I'm going to lift my feet off the floor for a few seconds and come back. Okay. So this is called a frog stand. So what I'd like you guys to do from now until next Thursday is to practice your frog stand. OK, the better you become of doing your frog stand, the better and easier it will be um, to be able to do a handstand in a few weeks time. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, and we will see you next Wednesday for a fitness class. Thanks for joining, guys. Take care. Bye bye.